Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm literally just refilming this again because I accidentally deleted my intro clip just now, which is really annoying. But as you'll see, we're just about to go and train back and biceps. Um, I'm just with Anton. Um, but yeah, I forgot to film. Well, I didn't forget to film. I don't know why I just said that. I deleted the clip by accident, which is really annoying. Oh. I know. But today's going to be a little bit of a gym vlog fitness q a video just a little bit of a day in the life i put a question box up on my instagram earlier which was just for like a fitness q a so i'm going to answer those in the video it's quite long i just filmed it it's longer than i anticipated it to be it'll probably be like half an hour worth of me talking but i feel like i've not done a fitness q a in a long time what are you saying for oh, i'm in here okay i'll put the engine on i'm just about to have some pre-workout as well i had some pride here but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in the life. And yeah, bye. Right, Anton's joined me in the car. Say hi. Hi. He's got a fresh trim. Bit of a buzz, eh? Maybe buzz cut. Fun, isn't it? He had a mullet before. No more mullet. Don't know which one I prefer though. I think I just prefer your normal hair. I might go back to my normal trim. <laughs> I had a bit of experimenting. What are you training today? I don't know. I don't know how to do back and bars with me. I'll do like my SNC program for a bit. Do it with me, please. <laughs> please. I don't know. Anton's been my photographer, uh, my videographer today. So, oh, so if I've um, been a videographer for a long time. Well, I know, but I usually use my tripod. Yeah. So if the clips are a little bit shaky, it's Anton's fault. I'm just kidding, you don't do that, do you? No, I'm well good. He's actually really good, to be fair. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just about to do my pre. I'm um, Wordle. Anton's doing Wordle, but we can't figure out what it is. But I'm just going to have this flavour today. This is literally what I've given to Anton, and he's not even opened it. How ungrateful is that? I'm ungrateful. I'm cher cher cherishing it. I gave you that ages <laughs> ago. <laughs> I think I've given Anton about three tubs of pre, but you don't even, it doesn't really use pre. I've used two. I've had two of them. Really? I had the Fanta one, and I've just used the Voodoo one. Takes them all to uni. And his mm. uni friends use them all. Yeah, well, this is good anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna use this flavour today. I've not had it in a while. It's pina colada. But yeah, we're gonna have pina colada today. You never had this flavour yet? No. Do you wanna try it? Mm, no. Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. And I'm gonna mix it with creatine. Um, creatine. Creatine. But I'm gonna put it on my cool camera, my good camera, as a little romanticising put my pre in my cup. <laughs>
right hello guys once again we just got back from the gym a while ago and we just had dinner i was literally like shit can you know when you're like really hungry i was literally like desperate for my dinner but i'm just about to i just came into my car just because i just love sitting in my car i don't know about anyone else but it just feels so nice and private and yeah just feels so nice so yeah i'm just about to answer some of the questions that I got earlier as I put up a question box um, for like a little fitness Q&A. So I'm going to answer some of like the most popular ones and some questions that I've been getting asked quite a bit. So somebody said, who did you get your PT qualifications through? So I've actually been getting asked this a lot because um, I feel like I've not really updated you on any of my socials or anything. It was just kind of like um something that i did to be able to become an athlete so i can literally tell i can tell you guys it now but i couldn't tell you before but i completed my level two pt qualification so that i could become an honor active athlete and i'm now very proud to say that i'm an honor athlete if you guys follow me on instagram you will have already seen i did announce it like a week ago now um and I just want to say on here as well that like your response to my announcement has literally been incredible as always like you guys just like your support means so much to me and yeah I just want to say thank you on here as well because I really do feel like I've not said anything on my YouTube yet um so yeah it's nice to tell you on here that I'm officially an honor active athlete I was a teammate before I was getting some questions being like I thought you already worked with honor and I have I've worked with honor for about a year and a half now but I was an affiliate and then I moved up to be a teammate and now I'm an athlete so I'm now in the top level of the sponsorship team which is just so amazing and I'm so grateful to honor to have asked me to become an athlete and I can't wait to continue creating content for you guys as an athlete and yeah just be much more involved in the brand as well and bring you guys the best content possible but that just went on a huge sidetrack I was meant to be answering who I did my PT qualifications through I did mine through Origin and I personally had no problems with them it was super simple and it cost me about 600 pounds I think 500 600 pounds for the level two and then once you've done the level two that's when it kind of starts creeping up in price I think the level three was over a thousand pounds so yeah I only needed my level two to be an athlete so that's all I've done so far I'm currently not considering any coaching or PT or anything like that so I'm just going to kind of stick to where I am. Maybe if I in the future want to become a coach or a PT, I will complete my level three and level four and stuff. But for now, that is good with me. But yeah, I recommend Origin. I'm going to have to turn my engine on because it's absolutely boiling. I think it's 20 plus degrees today. I need some air con. All right, I'm sorry if you can hear that air con, but it's literally just so warm. It's starting to really, really feel like summer now, which is just amazing um someone said why are you wearing an apple watch again and funnily enough i don't have it on right now but i found it in my drawer the other day and i really just i just i just stopped wearing it i don't really know why I, it was just one of them ones where i think it died and i just forgot to charge it and i've just kind of forgotten about it but i genuinely do like wearing it i personally don't track my step like count like i couldn't care less about getting 10k steps in a day it's personally not one of my goals however it's nice to see your activity levels and things like that and also it can obviously show you the messages that you're receiving when you don't have your phone on you and i don't know i just quite like it for the activity side of it as well i'm going to start tracking my activity level a little bit more um not so specifically steps but yeah i also have an aura ring i know that i mentioned it on my youtube quite a while ago but i've had this about three months now i think and this also tracks my activity level but i use this to track my sleep and i literally could not live without this right now it's the first thing that i do when i wake up is i check how much sleep i've had and um, what kind of zones i've been in whilst i've been asleep how much rem sleep i've had and everything like that and it is very expensive um also so is an apple watch i know that they're obviously both things that are not necessary like you don't need them at all to make progress but if you are maybe willing to spend a little bit more money to just get a little bit more of an insight as to your sleep and activity level and stuff like that i do think it's worth it and i think it is 
money well spent being able to track your sleep and make sure that you are getting better sleep because I've definitely made more conscious decisions to go to bed earlier and you know get more sleep because I was finding that I was going to so say I wanted to get eight hours sleep I always have to get at least eight hours sleep every night by the way like I need my eight hours but I was kind of going to bed at 10 for example and waking up at 7 where that actually doesn't end up being 8 hours because it takes me quite a while to get to sleep maybe like half an hour to 45 minutes I do struggle to get to sleep a little um, so then I end up only getting probably like 7 hours or just over 7 hours which is kind of what I'd found out that I was doing and obviously before I didn't track my sleep or anything so I just kind of assumed I was getting around 8 hours but I now make more of a conscious effort to go to bed a little bit earlier so that I'm definitely hitting the eight hours at least. Somebody said, I've never really answered a question like this, but somebody said, what do your family think of your fitness achievements? So I would probably class myself as one of the most unfit people in my family. <laughs> like my family is very, very active. Um, we have always have been, like I've always grown up doing kind of sports and stuff and my family has always urged me to be active and take part in sports and everything like that. Ever since a young age, I did, dance and gymnastics and then also I did athletics and I, yeah I used to do running quite a lot um, but my dad is a really 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 good runner he still is but he used to be very very good he came like 10th in the London Marathon and got it in two hours 15 which is just incomprehensible incomprehensible to me but yeah he always has so many stories like he said he used to train with Mo Farah or some shit which is just crazy uh, but yeah he was really good and he basically didn't force it on me but he always kind of he urged me to go to my like local harriers and stuff when I was younger and I did actually used to be really good at running and um, but I just personally don't enjoy it didn't enjoy it and I just gave it up quite a while ago now but yeah my dad is a very very good runner he still runs every single day yeah and now my younger brother has also taken up running and is hopefully going over to America um, and he's being sponsored by a college to do athletics because he is also very 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 good but yeah he's very good he's taken after my dad and I well I could have done if I actually put my mind to it and actually wanted to do it but running's just not for me <laughs> I found my niche and nobody else in my family does it but it's fine <laughs> my mum is also a Pilates teacher she has her own business and she does online classes and also in-person classes she's very very fit she used to be a ballet dancer and stuff like that yeah my whole family is really fit and they're proud of what i'm doing but you know <laughs> when i've got parents like that i actually don't feel like the fittest in the family which i guess is a good thing so someone said can you update us about the current supplements you take and i also did get a question about my favorite like flavors of the supplements that i am taking so I feel like I do actually put more of this information on my Instagram and stuff so I touch on it here but I use all supplements from EHP labs as you guys will know I literally like speak about them all the time but they are my sponsor they very kindly sponsor me I am an EHP labs athlete so I very luckily work exclusively with them which I'm very happy about because their supplements are honestly the best that I've ever used genuinely not even just saying that because i get paid by them but they are honestly the best supplements that i've ever used so i'm kind of going to run through the supplements that i use in the order that i take them on a daily basis so i always start off my mornings with oxy greens so they are a greens powder and they just provide so many different benefits like they're so good for your gut they help to kind of de-bloat they're really good for liver detoxification and they just have like I think they have a, like a ridiculous amount of fruit and veg and micronutrients in one scoop and they don't taste like grass which is unreal they have some amazing flavors and I'm genuinely not even saying this but they actually taste so nice they have like pineapple strawberry margarita forest berries guava and passion fruit I think and they genuinely do taste nice like I promise you they won't taste like you're eating soil <laughs> But yeah, with those in the morning, I have one scoop of creatine and also one scoop of glutamine. However, if I kind of don't have time to take the oxy greens or something like this morning, I haven't brought them to Anton's house because I'm at his house. I have my creatine in my pre-workout. But the reason that I take creatine is because it increases performance and strength in the gym as well. And it also increases your fat-free mass. It's just basically a kind of catalyst in the process of building muscle. And it also optimizes recovery and also reduces your risk of injury it's also i think it's the most highly researched supplement on the market so you don't need to worry about like 
if it actually is going to work or if there's any risks or anything like that it has been proven to be very effective and work really well in building muscle mass so yeah i highly rent I highly recommend taking creatine if you don't already. If your goal is to kind of put on some mass and build some muscle, I would highly recommend taking creatine. And then I take glutamine for intestinal health, basically. It helps with digestion and everything like that, and it also helps to keep your gut healthy. So I also highly recommend taking glutamine. You can take it however you want. I also get a lot of questions like, when and how can I take creatine and does it matter? And it honestly doesn't matter when you take creatine in the day. I always just like to take it around my training window, for example, in the morning or maybe my pre or maybe after I've worked out, for example, if I forgot to take it before. But honestly, it really doesn't matter when you take it within the day. It's not like a pre-workout where you have to take that obviously before a workout because you are taking it to get that boost of energy. You can have creatine kind of any time of the day it really doesn't matter just one scoop a day and then moving on to pre-workout i have a mix between pride pre-workout and oxy shred so pride pre-workout is my favorite favorite pre-workout of all time so it has a five stage energy release which provides energy without giving you tingles or anything like that if you guys have had the pre-workout with the dreaded tingles then this honestly does not give you that whatsoever and it also does not give you a crash afterwards i know that lots of pre-workouts make you feel so tired and like just drained after you've worked out it does not do that at all but yeah it also has some ingredients in it to help increase blood flow to your muscles and just increase vasodilation within your blood which in turn gives you an insane pump like i'm not even joking i actually notice a difference in my muscles to when i take pride and to when i don't yeah obviously it's only a temporary pump so that literally doesn't mean anything it doesn't just make your muscles grow however it does give you an insane pump it also contains an eaa blend which is performance essential amino acids which also assist in recovery as well which is amazing and yeah it's literally just my favorite pre-workout of all time and then sometimes i like to take oxy shred as a pre-workout if i'm not wanting something so kind of not intense but just something just a little kick sort of thing what's different with oxy shred is that it has some other different kind of added benefits so it has got caffeine in so you can use it as a pre-workout but it also enhances your mood and also balances your blood sugar levels and also increases your immunity as well it's just got so much goodness in it that's just really good for your brain it also helps with your brain focus as well so if you're wanting something that's a little bit as not of a harsh pre-workout and it's got lots of extra added benefits rather than just kind of pre-workout benefits then i'd maybe give oxy shred a go my favorite flavors of both oxy shred and pride would probably be for pride i think it would be fantasy soda or raspberry and then for the oxy shred i think it would be cosmic blast i really love cosmic blast it's kind of like strawberry-ish it just really tastes like a sweet like it's just really nice and those are basically my daily non-negotiables obviously i don't take pre-workout every single day but those are my top i don't even know how many i've said there top supplements and then there's also oxy whey which is a whey protein powder and i am personally not a huge fan of whey protein powder at all i don't like to include it in my diet too much i also find that it doesn't sit really well in my stomach however the ehp one really does not give me any reactions like that it's really easy to digest and if i do have it i like to just mix it in with some oats but i don't have it too often but yeah that is a supplement that i sometimes take and that is basically it on the supplement front. Sometimes I do like to add some BCAAs and EAAs into my intra workout drink. Um, EHP do some really nice ones of those as well. They have so many different flavors, but I don't have those all the time. But EHP are currently running a summer sale with up to 60% off and they've got some so sick deals on bundles and stuff like you can get so many different things in a bundle and it's really really good for the price and you can use my athlete code mia i'll put it on screen and that will get you up to 60 percent off in the summer sale okay nice and quick how long have you been training for probably about five six years now i would say i very i've firstly stepped in a gym when i was about 14 years old 13 years old which is like six years ago now but yeah technically six years tips for growing a fitness platform even when interactions are low i have 100 percent been there honestly i have been doing been running my like social accounts now for 
probably like four or five years which obviously isn't that long compared to some people who have been on social media and stuff um but honestly the biggest advice that i would give is to just keep going keep being consistent even if the views and everything and the interactions are not coming just keep being consistent keep producing content that you think looks good and content that you actually enjoy creating also reach out to other creators you know interact on other people's posts and, and then your account will also get some more exposure and just interact with the followers that you do have and yeah the main thing is to just be consistent and create content that you enjoy creating if you start creating content that maybe you just see other people doing but you don't actually enjoy creating it it's not going to have any longevity or any sustainability so just make sure that you enjoy what you are creating and you're not just kind of doing it to you know get a lot of followers or get money or something like that but it does take a long time so just be patient everybody's social channels are different some people's social channels just grow like massively in such a short space of time but others it takes years it takes really really long you've just got to be patient with it someone said how come you only do one glute session a week curious as i thought two to three was optimal i actually had quite a few questions saying this um but i would advise that you only really train one muscle group once a week twice a week maximum just so that you allow yourself enough recovery time between sessions it obviously depends what your split is looking like however i only train glutes once a week i've only ever put it up to a maximum of two times a week i would never train glutes three times a week i think that it's way too much and it doesn't allow your body enough time for recovery i was going through a phase where i was trialing three leg days a week so i was doing one glutes and hamstrings one quads and calves and then one full leg day so it was like glutes and quads and hamstrings so that only adds up to two predominantly glute workouts a week however i just personally found that i didn't have enough recovery time between the leg days i would be kind of going into another leg day still feeling a little bit sore which is not great and it's not the most optimal in my opinion to make progress i want to be fully recovered before my next session but yeah you want to avoid overtraining at all costs and i would say that training a body part more than two times a week is excessive and i would say a maximum twice a week you need to train one muscle group and about the creatine i got a question of whether to take this on rest days too yes you meant to take it every single day rest days and training days someone said how do you balance work filming and staying consistent in the gym and eating good um i'm very lucky that being a like influencer i don't like that word at all but like content creator um i'm very lucky that that is my full-time job so kind of going to the gym is my job which is just like a dream like that is just incredible and i just cannot believe that that is my full-time job i just personally have my daily schedule that works well for me i go to the gym early in the morning i film my content i come back and edit it make some more content once i'm home edit that and then do other things that are not content filming and editing related in between and i'm very lucky to also obviously work from home with that and um, which also helps me stay more on track and more focused with my meals as well which i'm very lucky to be able to do but if you are kind of working a nine to five for example i would really really recommend meal prepping i even meal prep sometimes at home just so that when i'm working at home and i maybe don't have time to have an hour gap to make my dinner it's really convenient to just you know chuck a meal in the microwave it's just so convenient i would recommend it to everyone if obviously you've got a busy schedule it just saves you so so much time somebody said how to make sure you are training at full intensity slash capability so i think you will probably know this when you're training you'll be able to feel it if you are kind of pushing yourself to your limits now this doesn't mean training to failure every single time so training to failure all the time is actually not very optimal especially for example if you're going into a workout that has quite a lot of sets and maybe you're training until failure on your first set of exercises in your first amount of sets it's gonna really highly strain your muscles for the rest of the sets you've got for the rest of the workout if you are training until failure so you've got two different types of failure so you've got mechanical failure and also muscular failure so mechanical failure is when you can no longer perform the exercise with the correct form or maybe no longer with the full range of motion for example so maybe your muscles could do more however your form is maybe giving giving way first 
before your muscles which leads me on to muscular failure which is when your neuromuscular system can no longer produce enough force for your muscles to kind of contract effectively and for you to kind of get the most out of the movement so yeah those are the two different types of failure but i think you will know within your training if you are kind of training to your full capability if for example you are doing 10 reps and on the 10th rep you know you're fine you're probably in your rp like five your training is not too intense you could easily go again that is obviously a clear indication that you are not working to your maximum capability or intensity and i would highly recommend going down the route of progressive overload of any type there's lots of different types of progressive overload you could add more weight you could add more reps you could increase the frequency by adding tempos pauses and stuff like that yeah you want to be on those last reps really struggling not necessarily until failure but you want to really be struggling and really working on switching on your muscles and trying to use mind to muscle connection as much as possible where you can obviously you're not going to be using mind to muscle connection if you are hitting a one rep max for example but i'm kind of talking more in the 8 to 10, 10 to 12 rep range, even 6 to 8 rep range. You want to be really completing your repetitions with intention and not just doing the reps just to do the reps. You want to do them with intention and really get the most out of every single rep and every single set. Um, someone said, do you work with a personal trainer or did you in the past? I have never ever had a personal trainer or a coach or anything like that. Everything that I have learned up until this point today is self-taught and I have just personally never delved into getting a coach or anything like that I'm <laughs> I am just personally a very stubborn person and I just think that I can do everything on my own I know that I could probably learn a lot and maybe progress more with a coach but I just personally think that I know best <laughs> and I just I just personally like to create my own training plans be in control of my training plan my diet plan my eating plan and everything like that I just personally love to be in control and would not like somebody else to be kind of giving me those instructions which I know that that is what being a, like having a coach entails a lot of the time it's obviously so different for everyone and I would recommend a coach or a personal trainer for example if you are maybe a beginner or if you are on prep competing or if you just really want to gain more knowledge and maybe just try out something new if you're in a rut or something like that I think a coach or a PT can be really useful but I'm just a very very stubborn person and just think that I can do it all on my own. Uh, somebody said this is a good question things you wish you knew when you started training that you know now. So the first one would be to not compromise form over weight. So the biggest tip that I would give is to leave your ego at the door and honestly prioritize form as much as possible and really just lower the weight until you have perfected a certain movement and then start adding the weight on and just gradually do that over time you don't want to be as i said compromising form just so that you can lift a certain weight the risk to the risk to reward with that is just not worth it another one would be to be patient progress honestly takes so so long it takes years it doesn't I don't care what anybody says online you cannot really make very adequate progress within a few weeks even a few months like obviously everybody is different genetically and everything like that however if you want to make some real real progress and yeah just make a lot of progress you need to allow a year years like it honestly you just need to have patience and you need to just learn to enjoy the journey that is a tip that i would say to enjoy the journey people get so caught up in trying to focus on the end result too much that they don't enjoy the journey they're not enjoying what they're doing and it ends up being not sustainable which is not what you want you want to enjoy what you are doing and if you are not enjoying it what can you change about it to make sure that you enjoy it and to make sure that it fits into your lifestyle another one would be that food is fuel you do not need to cut out foods or certain food groups to be able to make progress if anything you want to do the complete opposite i personally don't agree with any of any diets that cut out certain food groups obviously this doesn't apply to allergies and intolerances and stuff like that i personally do not agree with diets like keto for example it's just no personally i just don't agree with it at all i really do not think that anybody should be cutting out certain food groups every single food group has a different purpose and every single food group eaten in moderation all have so many benefits for you and your body and i just don't think that it's right to cut out certain food groups obviously as i said this is 
not including allergies and intolerances but yeah I feel like at the start of a fitness journey everyone's like right I need to cut out carbs I need to cut out fats and it's just like no keep them in your diet within moderation that will also be a way that you can make your journey way more sustainable because nine times out of ten when people do these diets cutting out certain food groups it doesn't last long it's not sustainable because it's not enjoyable and it's not providing your body with the maximal nutrients that you need to kind of perform in everyday life and also in the gym another one would be that lifting weights does not make you look manly if you think that lifting weights will make you look manly you are wrong it makes you feel strong and it helps you to perform better and just do everyday tasks better in everyday life and it just makes you feel strong it does not make you look manly at all trust me it's so so much harder than you think to look manly by you know lifting weights takes so much longer than you think and also with a lot of people men women peds are involved and a lot of it is not natural so trust me it will not make you look manly another one would also be that your menstrual cycle your cycle as a woman changes your training throughout the month like i have only even only just this year really started kind of trying to get in tune with my cycle and learning a little bit more about it that's also another reason why i got this ring um but it's really important to know what to expect in certain weeks of the month you know during your cycle and it also helps to explain a lot it helps to explain why you're feeling certain feelings why you're maybe not able to lift the weight in the gym that you were able to lift last week and I just highly recommend every woman to get in touch with their cycle and just research it a little bit more it can just also help give you peace of mind as well as to maybe why you're feeling rubbish one week and then really good the next it's just really useful to know as a woman to also adapt your training to those certain weeks another one will be to train upper body as a woman please do not neglect your upper body and the last one that I'm gonna say is that controlling your reps and doing your reps with intention not rushing them is so so important and also vital for progress in the gym and building muscle and strength as well during certain exercises it comes back to the point of you do not want to compromise form over weight you don't want to just do the reps for the sake of it you want to do them with intention with the correct form and with control to get the most out of them but i think i'm going to leave it there guys that was so much longer than i thought it was going to be i don't know how long this is going to be once i edit it but i have been speaking now for about 45 minutes in my car so yeah i hope this was insightful and useful me and anton are just about to go to the driving range because anton's got a new obsession with golf so if you guys want to see me not hit a golf ball for the next hour then keep watching because honestly i've played ah oh, my camera's really hot honestly i've played golf before and oh, i genuinely can't hit the ball like guys I'm just, it's not it's not a sport that i excel in and I'm going to get Anton to capture it because I think it'll be quite funny. Uh, but after that, we're also going to go to the cinemas tonight to watch a new film that's come out, a horror film. Surprise, surprise. It's called The Boogeyman. I think that's how you say it. So I'll let you know how that is as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the driving range. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Is it Tiger Woods or something? Tiger Woods. Look at him. Look at all his clothes. He's got socks on. Go on, Tiger. <laughs> wow. Alright guys, I'm really sorry for the abrupt ending to this vlog. We literally just met up with some friends that night after being at the driving range and we watched a film. As I said, we went to go watch that The Boogeyman. Boogeyman, don't really know how you say it. I think The Boogeyman is like American. But it was actually quite good for like a Boogeyman horror film because usually they're pretty shit. But that was quite good. So if, it, if it's in your cinemas, I recommend to go watch it. But we literally just 
chilled for the rest of the night at my house and had one of my favourite conversations ever, just deep chats about life and ghosts and stuff, <laughs> which is just my kind of vibe. So had a great night. But yeah, that was it. And I'm going to finish this video off here. I'm actually going to upload this video tonight. So you'll be seeing this today but yeah i really do hope that fitness q a was helpful as well and useful please let me know if you want me to do those more often i try to condense my most popular most asked questions into just this one q a so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye